Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Core and Stretch. I'm Mikhail, and I'll be taking through today's class. This is your first time joining us. We ask you to speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. To start, we'll go through three exercises standing. All right, we'll go through them in a set, and then we'll go through a second set right afterwards. So we'll start, you need a set of dumbbells. We're going to start with some bicep curl, or we'll do hammer curls. To start, elbows by your side. And bring these weights up towards your shoulders. Up and down. All right, as you do this, you want that pelvic tilt. So you're shifting your hips down, engaging the core muscles. All right, midway through, we're gonna do a pause. So midway through, I'll give you a heads up and then you're gonna go to the halfway point. We're gonna hold it for a few seconds and then back into reps and one more pause at the end. All right, so that's how we'll start off with this one. So hammer curls with some pauses. All right, so we'll start out with just regular reps. Here we go, so we're going one and then the other. And it goes by your side. You want a soft bend in your knees. You want about shoulder width apart. And keeping those elbows by your side, bring these weights up towards your shoulders, up and down. And that pelvic tilt. Let me go two more. And now you're gonna add in that pause. Go to the halfway mark, we're gonna hold it. And three, two, one. I'm gonna go into a few more of these up and down motions. And we'll go two more. And now we'll add that last pause and hold it again right at that uh, point mark. And three, two, and one, very good. Go ahead and set these weights off to the side. All right, our next exercise, you need just a little bit of space. All right, there's a few ways you can do this if you don't have the space for it. So just enough for two to three steps to the side. So you're gonna start off, I'll start with a squat. All right, so you can do this whole going to a counter if you'd like. You start with a squat, so your feet a little wider than your shoulder width. You're gonna sink your hips back. Stand all the way up, and then we're taking two or three steps to the side. So you're going to step to the side. You're going to land on the balls of your feet. You want nice, soft knees. You want to land nice and soft. Take two or three steps. Go into another squat all the way up. And then two to three steps to the side. All right, so we're going to go back and forth for about 30 to 40 seconds. Um, and you're going to go into that squat up, and here we go. And with this one, go as far as you feel comfortable in the squat. Don't feel like you get down on the floor. Even if you're doing a small quarter squat, that's all right. You can also do this against the wall. If you want the support, you can pull on the wall. And then you can take a few steps to the side. Let the wall guide you if you want a little more. Help with the balance, want a little more support. So again, side steps. Landing soft on the feet. Squatting all the way up. And then back to the other direction. Squat. Up. We'll go one more down the back. Very good. All right. For this last exercise, you will need a dumbbell. A lighter one will probably be best for this one. So we're going to do some drivers. So for this one, put on the weight on either end of the dumbbell. Keep your arms straight in front of you. Feet about shoulders apart, nice soft bend. Let the pelvic tilt engage the core. Lift up these this weight till just at your shoulder height. You're gonna turn it one direction, turn it the other, then lower. All right, so you're only going one direction, right? One turn, one turn, and then back down. And I want it nice and controlled. You're only going up to the shoulder height. You don't have to go higher than that. So you're not just up to the shoulder height. Turn one way, then the other. And down. And again, you want that pelvic tilt, engage that core.
And we're gonna go one more. So we're gonna go down. And last one. Very good. All right, give a quick second. We'll go through those exercises one more time each. So if you want to just sip the water, feel free to take that. I'm going to go back to the beginning. All right, so we're going back to those hammer curls with the paws. So again, elbows by your side, feet about shoulder apart. Bring this up towards your shoulders, up and down, and getting that. Nice soft bend in the knees, engage that core. We have two more. Now we're gonna do that pause. So we go to the halfway mark again at that nine degrees. And here we go, back to reps, going up and down. And we'll go two more. And now back to the hold. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Set these off to the side. Up next, we're going back into those walks side to side. All right. So over here, again, squat. We're stepping side all the way down. Squatting all the way up, back the other direction. Again, go as far as it feels comfortable. Well, you want to sink your hips back like you're sitting in a chair. And go one more down and back. Very good. All right, we're going to our final exercise. We're going to grab the one last dumbbell. Go back to those drivers. So you're going to hold the weight in front of you, All right? On either end, we're bring it up to shoulder height, turn one way, then the other, and back down. All right. And here we go. So raise it up, turn it, turn it, and down. Good morning, everybody. Hey, hey, who's the person you're watching today? Thank you. It's always nice for you. Thank you. And we're going to go one more. It's always nice for the face. Very good. All right. Now we're going to move down to the floor. So you won't need a set of weights. All right. So you can do this from your floor. You can do it from your bed, couch, whatever's most comfortable for you at home, doing that. Uh, so we're going to look down the floor, finish a few exercises, and then a stretch. All right. Again, we're going to be on our sides. All right, so you're start on your side. So, in this exercise, your top leg will be straight, the bottom leg will be either bent or straight. All right, whatever's most comfortable for you. You're going to have this top leg with these hips stacked over each other. All right, so you don't want to roll backwards as you're doing this exercise. You're going to keep this leg straight, raise it up, you're going to bend it towards your chest, straighten it out, and lower it. If this is uncomfortable, you can do just, just a leg raise. 
and then up and down. And again, go as far as it feels comfortable with this leg bend. If needed, right, even just a small bend, straighten it and lower it. Don't forget to get it all the way to your chest, right? Go as far as it feels comfortable, or you can do just the side leg raise part of this exercise. All right, so let me time this out. Here we go. So you're going to raise it, bring it in, straighten it out, and lower. Good, we're almost there. We'll do one more. Very good. We'll do a quick rest, then we'll do it one more time. Then we'll go on to our backs afterwards. So we'll do one more time on this side. Then we'll go on to our backs. Then we'll go to the other side. All right, we got about 10 more seconds of rest. All right. In three, two, and one. Here we go. So you raise it, bring it in, straighten it out, and lower. And we're almost there. We'll do two more. There we go. Go on to our backs next. All right. Now we're on our backs. We'll do some bridges. So start. Have your feet about hip width apart, right? You want to make sure you're pushing through your heels. So you're raising your hips and your back, thinking off the floor, lowering down. And repeating. All right, so you can add a little pause at the top of your leg, hold it for a few seconds, and then lower it back down. That'll act a little bit more of a challenge to it. Same thing, we'll go about 40 seconds, and here we go. So you're going up, holding it, and back down. And your arms by your side. And we're almost there. Let's go two more. There we go. We're going to take a quick rest. Then we're going to do that one more time. All right. Before we go on to the second, second side. Give it 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Here we go. So again, lift these hips up and down. And almost there. Go two more. Very good. All right. Now we'll switch sides for our last exercise for the stretch. So I'll go on to that final side, go back to that leg raise to the knee bend. All right. So again, top leg straight, bottom leg either bent or straight, whatever's more comfortable. Raising this top leg up, bending it in toward your chest, straightening out and repeating. And here we go. If you have your arm under your head, you can use a pillow, whatever's most comfortable for you. And 
And we're almost there. We go two more. Very good. We're going to take a rest. Put these hips best a little bit. Be ready for our final set before our stretch. All right. And here we go. So we're going to raise the top leg up, bend it in, straighten it out, and lower. Get the timer. There we go. And you're almost there. Keep on going, last. All right, we got your last two of the morning, then we can stretch. Very good. All right, so we're gonna finish the stretch. Feel free to take some water before we do our final exercises of the morning. All right, so we'll start on our backs. We still have a knee to chest stretch. So now have your legs bent, I'm going to grab behind one knee and gently pull it towards your chest. If you want more of a stretch, all right, straight up the opposite leg. I even feel the hip flexor of the leg that's straight. All right, so we're going to hold it. And don't force the stretch. You want to ease into it. So as the stretch goes on, you might be able to stretch a little bit more. But don't force anything right away. It just goes to where it feels comfortable. I'm going to switch sides. We'll switch that one more time each side. And switch sides. And go ahead and relax. Our next stretch, you're starting in a very similar position. You have that leg bent, right? Opposite leg, either straight or bent. You're going to grab towards the outside of that knee, the opposite arm, and gently pull it like you're pulling it towards your shoulder. All right, so the goal is to keep your low back pretty much on the floor. We're going to stretch kind of the outside of the hip, down towards the end of the leg. And again, go to the point where you feel the stretch. Don't force anything. And we'll hold it in that spot. And we'll switch sides. And we'll switch one more time each side. <laughs> and 
switch. And go ahead and relax. We'll finish with one more stretch. You have your knees bent. And bring your ankles so it's just under that knee. All right, so you feel stretch right here. You can go ahead and just hold it in this spot. Or you can gently push this knee away from your body. Or in the most aggressive way, grab behind the bent knee and gently pull it in towards your chest. And switch sides. And we switch, last one each side. And switch. And go ahead and relax. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming to Core and Stretch. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoy your weekend.